No presidential candidate this year is spending as much money in Texas as Mike Bloomberg. Surely you've seen his ads on TV or scrolling through Facebook. He's betting big on the state and isn't even campaigning in Iowa for the caucuses next week. Ross Ramsey has seen a couple of those ads. He's the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune. Good morning to you, Ross. I'm doing fine, Jason. How are you? Doing well. You know, Bloomberg has endless money to spend on ads. He has a net worth of what, $57 billion. Will his strategy of skipping Iowa and early voting states, will that work here? Well, I think we're about to find out. You know, one of the reasons that you want to win in Iowa and New Hampshire, whichever party's primary you're in, is to keep going and keep the money coming in. Bloomberg doesn't have that problem. The money's already in. So he can skip those places, campaign a little bit less in the retail states, concentrate on the Super Tuesday states, and try to sweep the table that way. Let's talk about the special election for a Texas House seat down in Fort Bend County. Big names from both parties are campaigning for the candidates down there. Why is this seat seen as so important? Well, it's a test in a Republican county that has gone blue. This district hasn't gone blue yet, but it's on the verge of it. John Zerwas was the head of the House Appropriations Committee. He left early to take a university job, and a Democrat and Republican are running to replace him. The winner won't actually serve in a legislature that votes. They'll only serve till the end of this year, and the legislature isn't scheduled to meet. But the parties are taking it as a testing ground, and the Democrat wow. in particular has a bunch of big names, Beto O'Rourke, Castro, and a bunch of presidential candidates. Wow, and they won't even serve in 2021. That's fascinating. Ross, back to you in just a moment. Appreciate it. Right.